This video is sponsored by Nord Pass. Got the latest issue of Guitar World magazine here. Well, it's uh, a month old at this point. Has a pretty interesting headlining article, Guitar's Greatest Live Moments. And I thought we would go over some of these live moments in case you missed this article or just to give it some more exposure because I think it was really well done. And since this article is text, I figured I would put some visuals to it by finding these performances and reacting to them, and I would like to ask you, what would you say is the most iconic live guitar moment? It doesn't necessarily have to be like the greatest performance. In fact, all the moments that I'm gonna highlight have nothing really to do with guitar playing as much as it is the spectacle. Without further ado, let's get into guitar's greatest live moments. Jimi Hendrix lets us stand next to his literal fire. This is the Monterey Pop Festival in 1967. If you haven't seen this video, you're welcome. Here's the most famous guitar moment in the history of guitar. Jimmy's uh, really, he's coercing his guitar. He wants something from it. And a little backstory, I don't know if this, yeah, it doesn't mention. So Hendrix had this sort of rivalry with The Who for destroying your guitars or really just having a spectacle that people can expect of your live performances. And this was his way to one-up The Who. So he knew that Pete Townsend was gonna smash his guitar and so it came to him to, well, light his guitar on fire and then smash it. So he just went over and grabbed some lighter fluid He's spraying it all over his guitar. The band is just going crazy. There's feedback everywhere. Gives a little kiss before he says goodbye. And there you have it. Not a lot of people remember he started smashing the guitar after this. <laughs> Done. That was the one. Yeah. Gives me chills, even though I've seen this like a hundred times. <laughs> this is definitely the best headline. Keith Richards fights off a stage invader. If you ever find yourself invading a stage occupied by the Rolling Stones, you might wish to avoid Keith Richards at all costs. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that one ambiguous. I've heard of this, I've never seen it, and I was able to find it on YouTube. <laughs> Dude sprinted away. Yo, we gotta see that again. It's kinda hard to see, so Keith Richards right here. Just take a look at him. Already, he sees the guy coming, whips off his guitar and gets it into battle axe mode. Like who in their right mind would run towards this? Oh, did he? Oh, man, let's see if he can, Mick Jagger gets right in the way there. And it's all blurry anyway. Ooh, I think he caught him right in the head, right, oosh, right there. <laughs> that guy's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. And it's, they're playing Satisfaction, too. They can't get more satisfying than clocking some dumbass who runs on the stage. Oh, this is an interesting one. Stevie Ray Vaughan gets booed by blues purists. Ah, yes, blues purists. Purists. What? What is a blues purist? Is that just another name for somebody who sucks? During his performance of Texas Flood at the 82 Montreux Jazz Festival, Stevie Ray Vaughan reached into his bag of Albert King meets Jimmy Licks, not to mention behind his back where his strat rests. So basically he wasn't playing blues licks up to the standards of these people in Switzerland. Since when does Swiss people know anything about blues? No offense to you who know about blues who aren't idiots who would boo Stevie Ray Vaughan, but wh who are these people? Let's see if we can hear some boos. Thank you so oh, much. yeah, they're booing the crap out of them. If you... This is like this is like the people who comment on YouTube videos, something negative. If you don't like it, don't watch. Leave. Leave, idiots. Leave. Instead, they sit and boo because they are actually jealous of what's going on up there. Look at the people in the back. So stuck up. There's a few people dancing, they're like, yeah. I'm getting to watch Stevie Ray Vaughan. Thank you 
very much. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh. That's what I would have done. I mean, he basically did that with his guitar playing. <laughs> Steve Vai shows us how bad his horsey really is. I've always wanted to know how bad Steve's horsey really is. He walks out on a dark stage, beaming light out of his headset with red lasers shooting from each finger dancing across his LED fretboard. If you've never seen this, you're, you're about to be uh, blown away. Man, I wish I was at this. Look at, look at how cool this is. <laughs> what is that that he's wearing? Like, I, I want to know what what is this? Like, is that headset? Can we can we see this, Steve? Can you show us like what this thing is? Is it like a construction helmet with lights glued onto it, or is it actually an alien headset that you acquired from Neptune? Where do I get those lasers? This guy is just an enigma. I would want this guy protecting me. I, for some reason, like this iteration of Steve Vai, I would want his protection. He could protect my home, he could protect my family, he could protect my passwords. Today's sponsor is NordPass, brought to you by the cybersecurity experts who created NordVPN. They're basically like the Jimi Hendrix of cybersecurity. Right now, these psychedelic security scientists are offering you 74% off a two-year NordPass premium plan, plus four free months. Just go to nordpass.com slash musicaswin and use the code musicaswin to redeem the offer. You see, nordpass.com slash musicaswin stores all your passwords in one safe and secure place. It's kind of like my pedal board case. You can access all of your passwords with a single master password. Kind of like this key. If my pedals are my passwords, this key is my master password and I can unlock the treasures of my board at any time. Ah. There they are. Nordpass.com slash music is win will also generate very secure passwords to keep your account safe. So instead of a boring, predictable password like this, you'll have a password that's a bit more sophisticated, like this. So keep your passwords safe and organize this fall with the So Long Summer Sale. Go to nordpass.com slash musicaswin and use the code musicaswin to get 74% off a two year Nordpass premium plan. Plus, you get an additional four months for free. This deal is only available for a limited time, so make sure you act quickly. Thank you to Nordpass for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the greatest live moments in guitar history. Clapton goes strapless. Winterland Ballroom, 1976. Uh, this is pretty cool. I, I've never heard of this one or seen it. So we're gonna experience this for the first time together, assuming you haven't seen it. I see an issue. <laughs> I see that strap. It's, hold on, I gotta demonstrate. So normally you got your guitar and here's the strap peg. Sturdy right there, but it looks like his has gotten twisted around and he's actually got one of these going on. So that's not good. That's gonna pull right off, I assume. I haven't seen this like I mentioned, but that looks, uh, that looks dangerous. There it goes. He went, oh! Oh, his buddy picked him up. There you go. And he's back. Uh, it would have been way cooler if Clapton played. Like, I feel like if this would have happened to Steve Ray Vaughan, Steve Ray Vaughan would have kept playing. He also wouldn't have had a backup guitar player, but hey, I'm not gonna hold it against a uh, slow hand there. Let's move on. Mary duels with Paul on Les Pauls. So in the 50s, when the name Les Paul was spoken, it was often in tandem with that of Mary Ford, who is Les Paul's wife and musical partner. And they had this little shtick that they did where they would kind of be playing back and forth. It's just doesn't even seem like the same universe, honestly. Like this seems so old and yet so good. So this is like a, both a musical act and a comedy act. Pretty cool, man. 
<laughs> That's the NBC chime. That's a grandfather clock. <laughs> She's basically matching him, note for note. Uh. <laughs> that definitely w didn't look planned. He just broke a string right there. That's just good wholesome fun. A great guitar moment, surely worthy of this list. Let's move on. Jason Becker whips out a yo-yo in Japan. 19-year-old Jason Becker unleashes a myriad of legato runs while raising his right hand up to his ear demanding for the room to scream louder and then out of nowhere he starts throwing a yo-yo while his other hand climbs up and down the fretboard. Whoa. Definitely never seen this. Very excited to watch. So he already doesn't have a, this picking hand happening at all. <laughs> you can tell he's probably just that's how he practices and he's just like you know this would actually be pretty cool to do on stage and uh yeah if you never heard jason becker by the way congrats to herman lee for all he's done for the uh jason becker fundraising <laughs> Just really friggin' cool right there. You might associate him with super fast playing, but that was just some tasty sh right there. So if you can, work up your legato so it's so fluid and strong that you can occupy your right hand with another activity, whether that's yo-yo or perhaps uh, solving a Rubik's Cube. Great stage move right there. Uh, great way to end this video. Prince literally makes it rain. This was at the 2007 Super Bowl halftime show. It was a terrible Super Bowl, by the way. It was like the Bears versus the, uh, who was it? Some nothing team. It's like the Colts or something like that. The heavy rain that fell over Miami ahead of the Super Bowl halftime show left its organizers and attendees fearing the worst. When asked if the tumultuous weather conditions were going to be a problem ahead of his set, Prince simply requested, can you make it rain harder? I'm gonna try and pinpoint the exact moment it starts to rain, because I know it didn't start raining until midway through the song. I don't know if it was like right when he said purple rain or if we need to start doing the harmonies or the guitar solos. Let's try and figure it out. Can I play this guitar? Yes, you can. I think it starts raining real hard right here. Just gives you the shivers down your neck. That is so cool. How did they figure out to do that? <laughs> With his silhouette there, it's so cool. This melody. Imagine there's just the rain falling down and you're hearing this. Listen to the listen to what he sings here. Listen how high his falsetto. So perfect. Huh. It's pouring now. Prince wasn't the Super Bowl halftime show. The Super Bowl was the opener for Prince. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe if you haven't seen some of these moments, it was cool for you. Check out the article, you can probably find it on guitarworld.com. Uh, there's a lot of great stuff in here as far as the different live moments and those are my highlights, my personal favorites. And again, let me know in the comments what you think could be included on this list if Guitar World didn't include it. Thank you to NordPass for sponsoring this video and protecting all of my passwords and hopefully they can do the same for you. Use the link down in the description if you're interested in signing up for that, and I'll see you in the next video, but until then.